I like to make something that goes along with our breakfast. A lot of times I make those strawberry smoothie slushies yeah, yeah. that everybody loves, but this is good because it's an orange cream cooler that I don't think you've ever had. No, I have no idea. What's, and, a, what's an orange cream cooler? <laughs> so an orange cream cooler is something that brings me back to my childhood. Okay. We've talked about your childhood with your French toast, okay? So this is something that I remember having growing up and it's um, a restaurant called Olga's in Michigan. I don't know that there's many left or even if they're national, but um, Olga's has this drink and it's called Orange Cream Cooler. It's kind of like an orange Julius. So oh, yeah, you know okay. what that yeah. is. Um, a creamy orange drink and this one has protein and we even use a real orange in it. So it's gonna be delicious. Sounds good. All right, so to the blender, I'm gonna add one cup of Greek yogurt. Okay. And you just wanna do unsweetened Greek yogurt. You don't really taste the yogurt in there, it just makes it creamy. Now is this one of those recipes where you put cottage cheese in secretly? No, I don't use cottage cheese in this okay. recipe. Although you could if you wanted to. Before I cut the orange, I'm going to use the rind, so a little bit of the rind. You'd wanna do about, I'd say, half of the rind of the orange, and that gives it a really fresh orange flavor, and it really brings out the orange. Cause just the juice alone won't really do it. Then I'm gonna cut the orange the rest of the way, and I'm gonna squeeze some of the juice in. So Sean, where does your love for breakfast come from? Would just from my childhood, I mean, that's just, I think I like, <laughs> the love of carbs. Yeah, <laughs> I, think that's, that's I like true. bread. So I guess a lot of breakfast food includes bread. And so there you go. That's why I love it so much. That's true. The other day we were just talking, in fact, about how you love carbohydrates. And yes. we were talking about how if we think about all the foods that you eat, I was like, actually, it's mostly bread and pasta. <laughs> so the good thing is, is that I try my best to choose the best types of bread and pasta. So I use brown rice pasta for Sean and Maddie, and I do sprouted whole grain bread, although <laughs> he does eat a lot of it. So it is true, you know, as long as you balance out carbohydrates with fats and proteins, they're not a bad thing. And I think the whole low carb movement and the whole low fat movement before that makes people scared to have a balance of food. But if you choose the right kinds and you have a balance of all three nutrition, then you're gonna be doing really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna add one scoop of protein powder or a fourth cup. And vanilla works best for this recipe, so it's creamy. And then, Sean, you wanna add the milk? Okay. Just enough milk until it tops just about where the top of the okay. ice is, so about a cup of milk. Oh, thank you. Yep, that's, oh, that, that works too, great. Okay, now we're gonna give this a blend. So that looks nice and creamy. And this is just a little bit of added protein for our meal. And Sean, I think that you are gonna really like this. Is it supposed to be orange? Well, you could add, that's a good question. You could add a few drops of orange food coloring if you like, or you can just serve it. It does have a little bit of orange in it because of the orange rind. Um, so you don't really need it, but if you wanted it to look like a true orange Julius or cream cooler, then you could do some orange food coloring. Well, that yeah. smells good. Yeah, doesn't it smell good? All right. So is this good. is this considered a dessert or is this just like a refreshing? This is just a refreshing drink and it'll be a good little dose of protein and also some delicious hydration.